Hello and welcome everyone. Back to some more Banjo-Kazooie. Just killed our little shark buddy. We don't have too much to do though, I mean... What we do? We got like half the... We already got half the Jiggies or so last episode, I think. Now all it is is basically getting the notes and then the other five... Four or five notes that are left, or uh, Jiggies that are left. Because we still have to go up to the top. I still have to freaking remember where that other ring is. You don't want this power. The power of the peck. I like to think that once you defeat him, he, he like dissolves into two smaller crabs. What? I thought you already did your second snipper snapper. I'm just going in. I'm just going in. I'll murder your smaller version once we get inside, stealing their honeycomb souls. Yes. No, you come here. I think one of the coolest things about Banjo Kazooie is the way that the uh, the music shifts around depending on the atmosphere. So, like, if you go underwater, it's got a underwater sound to it, and then. Uh, in here it's got like an echoey sound to it so it's pretty cool how the environment can affect the sound of the music in banjo kazooie it's one of the things i love about it all right you want some mr crab yeah i didn't think so did not think so oh we got eggs yes okay i thought it was eggs Always happy to take the eggs. Hello there, good sir. Just checking the bottom. Just red feathers. Totally not worth it. Oh no. Ah, uh, now I have to do you. I have to kill you. I would have spared your life. Nope, come here. Let me have that. Give me all the notes. Have I packed? Okay, no, no, there he is. I was just wondering where that gizmo or whatever is. All right, let me get this guy. What are you called? Yeah. I think I don't know what he's saying. What else do we have? This is what the Jiggy was, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the one that had the Jiggy in it. Yeah, we got that last episode. But what is... What is this? Anything of substantial... Ah, yes! We got a Jiggy. So that gives us six of them. Okay, so we did get half of them last episode. I knew it was either five or six of them. All right, some red feathers. Oh yeah, our shark buddy's still dead. Okay, there he is. I knew he respawns, but I didn't know. I wasn't sure how long it would take. What do you have? Mumbo token? I'd like to try and guess what it has. I'm going mumbo token. Yes, I was right. I know my banjo chest. I'll get every one, the rest of them wrong. I just know it. Yeah. Alright, is this where we were before? Yeah, because that's... Okay, yeah. This is where we were before, so we've cleared all of this. Um, let me go this way. I don't really feel like dealing with uh, stupid sharks and stuff. Oh, I love this music. 
So good. Okay, so I want to fly now and see what we find. Okay, I want to land here, I guess. Because there's notes. Lots of notes. Guess I could go ahead and start hitting the ship here and uh, getting everything we need there. And I was right uh, last episode. I was talking about how saving doesn't save everything, such as your notes and everything like that. Uh, because every time you save the game, like I said, one of the stupid features is that it's save and quit. So, um, if you save and quit, it's going to start you back in the very front of Gruntilda's lair, not the world that you saved in. So, I was correct in that. That's what I hate about it. It's like... That's one of the more annoying things. Like, it's one thing to have the notes and everything disappear. Whatever. It would be nice if you could save with, like, 57 notes and then start it again tomorrow with 57 notes. It'd be nice if you could do that. But even then, it would just be nice if... <clears throat> if, um... Yeah, if you could have a, uh, what am I thinking of? If you could have it where it starts you in the world that you were last in, instead of making you always have to go to uh, the worlds again from the very front of Gruntilda's lair. I mean, thank God they have those little pots for you to. Uh, Explore into for shortcuts and everything. This one has a jiggy in it, right? So it shouldn't have anything in it Yeah Okay, I didn't need to do that, but whatever Come on clam you want some Do I have full health or are we missing a couple of honeycombs? Oh wait, I gotta go down here and get these, uh... Pretty sure there's, there were some notes down here. That would've drove me crazy. I'd be like, where are those last four notes? We've checked everywhere. That's like one of the most frustrating things, trying to 100% this, is if you've got like, four notes that are missing or something. Two notes, four notes, something like that. It's usually about four. It's so frustrating because you know you're missing a group that are like next to each other. And so now you have to like try to recall. Unless it's like this note over here that's just like by its lonesome. It's the one note that they just like put here by itself. Making pretty good time on the notes. Already got 59 of them. All right, so we'll take the eggs. We've got 20 more, just about, that we can make room for. Death to you all. Hello there, my friend. Come with me if you want to live. So now I just need to get the purple one, wherever that might be. And see, this is another example of the atmosphere uh, playing a huge role in the music. Now it's like we're so high up that you can no longer hear the music. This is one of the reasons that this game is superior to Mario 64. I don't care what anybody says, it's true. This game is vastly superior. Every world has like a unique theme song to it. It's not like... Mario where a lot of Mario 64 worlds recycle music like the two snow worlds for example they have the same thing and then I don't know my uh, Mario 64 worlds very well but Bomb Up Battlefield shares the same theme as I believe 
it's the third or fourth world. It's still on the bottom floor. It's the uh, it's the one that has that castle tower in it, but I can't think of what that's called. Like I said, I know Bomb Up Battlefield. That's pretty much it. I've never been good with Mario Worlds. It's like I know the games really well and everything, but I don't know. I've just never taken the time to memorize that that game's or any Mario game's worlds. Like I know, I think a few more in Sunshine. Like you got. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. Wait, what do I need to do now? I'm still trying to freaking remember where that other ring is. Like that, that's what's killing me right now. Because the notes I know I'll find. I know I'll find all the notes. And I know... Oh, oh that's so annoying. I know I'll find all the notes and I know I'll find the uh, final few jiggies. But that last ring, I'm trying to think of where it might be. Let me go ahead and do this while I'm thinking about it. Oh boy, that was close. Leaky patched up. Now empty water for bear. Awesome. Alright, don't mind me. I'm just gonna hurl up here on the castle really quick. And get my extra notes just lying around. What would happen if I was to try and do that cheat code right now? Like, if I was to sit here and... I think Cheeto has to tell me it, doesn't he? I couldn't just spell, like, red feathers. Darn it, it doesn't work. Okay, whatever. It's gonna make me play this game. Where's an N? Give me an O! K, K! Where's the K's? I need another A. Where is the Z? Oh. Oh yeah, we got this. So much time to spare. All right, bro, you and me, right now, mono to mono, crab versus bear and bird. Let's do it. It's the fight everybody's been looking for. He didn't want this. He didn't want this. So I can't do those until after um, Cheeto tells us the thing. It's one of those things, you know. You gotta have Cheeto tell you to do red feathers in order to get the red feather. So what do we got? We got... I gotta get the purple guy that's over here. Couple more notes, and then we have to kill off the uh, treasure chest over there on that island. But we have to go hit the freaking X's and everything first. Wow, we still actually have a couple more uh, notes than I thought. Let me go get this boy over here first. Yeah. Great. Now we have that. I'm still trying to think of that. Oh, wait. I think I might know where it is. I might know. Let me see. Um, That was where the Jiggy was last episode. Let me get these things out of this chest. We'll say red feathers. Ah, hold on. Red feathers. Red feathers. Ah, I figured I'd get it wrong eventually.
I meant this one for red feathers. Yeah, that, that's what I meant. I knew one of them had red feathers in it. We almost got all our notes. But I still gotta think about where that ring is, because that's gonna be the last thing that we gotta get is the ring. Rah, 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 rah. I love how like half the freaking creatures have that voice. Just rah, 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 rah. Hello, X. This will be the last Jiggy that we need to get. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, yeah, so we did not get the last ring. I'm just making sure. I was like, wait, did we? So we didn't get the last ring, and then we still have a couple more notes after this. I want to look behind this, uh... Oh, that was, that was terrible. Missed the red feathers. I want to look behind this island over here and see if it's there. Because I'm really lost as to, like, where the, uh... The last ring is. Oh, is it on this? No, it's just an extra life. I can't even go behind it. Huh. This could be tricky to find. get that perfect aim. Okay, so we got all the jiggies. But I gotta figure out where the, uh, the ring is. And also, six more notes. I gotta figure out where those are, too. Oh, wait, what do we got here? The ring! Haha, <laughs> what are you gonna do, boy? I got the ring. Awesome, so we got the ring. <clears throat> but now I gotta figure out where these last six jiggies are, or uh, notes are. Because we're not leaving until we get those. But I gotta think about where it could possibly be. Okay, I think flying would be the best solution. Because we've already checked up under the ship and everything. We did that. I feel like they could be... Around here. Ah! Yes! I didn't think we got everything here. Boom! There! We got it! You found all 100 notes in this world. Well done. All right, so let's just double check, make sure we got everything here. 100 notes, 100, uh, 10 jiggies, and both rings. Awesome, so we did it. We have completed everything that we can do in Treasure Trove. God darn it, I almost said it. In uh, Treasure Trove Cove. So I think, uh, where we go now? Ah, oh, got something in my eye. Wow, your best note score. Alright, so we've completed Treasure Trove Cove, and now... Wait, I did hit that thing right for the, uh... Crap, what am I looking for? For the Jiggy over here, right? Yes, okay. We did that. I thought we did. So that's everything. So now we have to go over to uh, Clinker's Cavern. And we'll be continuing, we'll be uh, starting some stuff over there. Hey. 
Ah, there you go. You got it. Awesome. Okay, so I think... Let's go fill in the painting really quickly. Or the picture. Or, I don't really know. Oh, I'm not a fan of Clinker's cat. <clears throat> Just not a big fan. It's not awful, but I do prefer other areas. Alright, so now you're going to say I can push Z, right? Well, if you want to place all of them at once, you can just uh, push the button Z. Oh, wow, look at that. It's like I knew that already. I don't dislike this world. Like, I don't hate it or anything. I just don't like how slow it is because it's a freaking water level, and so it takes longer to swim. You gotta worry about your oxygen level. You gotta do the stupid bubbles. All that stuff it gets a little annoying. But it's not terrible. It's just, out of all the other worlds, like Freezy, uh, what am I thinking of here? Pretty much any of the other worlds. Cause I think, I'm trying to think back to my rankings. I'm pretty sure I had Clanker's Cavern lower than Rusty Bucket Bay. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty, yeah, I'm positive. It was at number nine, and then you had Rusty Bucket Bay sitting there, but let's go ahead and get that. I think I'm about to end the episode, though, because there's not too much else to do, and it's getting up there in the time, so we're not going to have enough time to start anything else specifically. I will say that I, I do love the music of Clinker's Cavern. Wait a second. <clears throat> what do I have to... Oh, wait. I have to, uh... I have to open up the... There it is. We got it! I look forward to going to Gobi's Valley also. That one's going to be fun. Let me get over here real quick. Alright, alright. I'm going to try and do this episode. Oh, no, don't. <clears throat> don't talk to me. I don't care what you have to say. I do it on hardcore mode, and I just guess when we get to the final board game thing. Shut up, woman. Nobody cares. No, look what you've done. Okay, whatever. I want to go ahead and end the episode here then, I guess. And then in the next episode, we will start Clanker's Cavern. We will get through it. We'll see how quickly we can do it. It's not hard. It's just time-consuming because you have to sit here and go under the water and do all that slow swimming. It's just so frustrating. But it's easy. It's not hard. The really hard water level is Clanker's Cavern. That one's hard. Especially when we're going, especially when we we're going to have to try and get that jiggy up under the propeller. I hate that jiggy so much. It's so frustrating. But I'll end it here and I will see you all on the next one.